بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يقول المؤلف رحمه الله باب التقوى We reach the next chapter in the book which is the chapter of التقوى And the word التقوى is an اسم مأخوذ من الوقاية It's a word that is taken from the word وقاية And this word وقاية in Arabic means to to prevent or protect, to prevent or to protect. And hence, where, where is the link? Yani what does this word taqwa link to this word wiqaya? To prevent something from happening. It means that a person, he takes that which will prevent the punishment of Allah. That which, that which will prevent him from reaching or prevent the punishment of Allah from reaching him. Ali ibn Abi Talib, radiyallahu anhu, Amir al-Mu'mineen, he said, At-taqwa hiya al-khawfu min al-jaleel, wal-amalu bil-tanzeel, wal-qana'atu bil-qaleel, wal-isti'adadu liyawm al-raheel. A beautiful statement and one that, as you can hear, it rhymes. And this was his definition of at-taqwa. He said, taqwa is al-khawfu min al-jaleel. Number one, it means to fear Allah, al-jaleel. One of Allah's names is Al-Jalil, the exalted one. Wal tanzil, and secondly, it is to act according to the revelation. Wal tanzil, to act in accordance with the revelation, the Quran and the Sunnah, to abide by it. Wal bil qalil, and to be sufficed or to be contented rather with very little. Al-qana'atu bil qalil to be contented with that which is few. Wal isti'adadu li yawm rahil and to prepare for the last day, the day where we will all go back to Allah. This was the way Ali radiyallahu anhu translated or defined, should I say, at-taqwa. So it's to fear al-jalil, to act according to the revelation, the tanzil, to be contented with a little and to prepare for the last day. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, another sahabi, where Allah Azza wa Jalla said, اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن That you should fear Allah the way he deserves to be feared. <coughs> he spoke on this and he said, What is taqwa? He said, أن يطاع فلا يعصى This means, to have taqwa of Allah the way he deserves means that he should be obeyed and he should not be disobeyed. يطاع ولا يعصى He should not be disobeyed. وَيُذْكَرْ فَلَا يُنْسَى Allah should be remembered and not forgotten. وَأَنْ يُشْكَرَ فَلَا يُكْفَرَ And Allah should be, we should show shukr to Allah. We should be grateful unto Him and not ungrateful. This was Ibn Mas'ud's definition of taqwa. Ibn Mas'ud said, أَنْ يُطَاعَ فَلَا يُعْصَى Obey Him and do not, He should not be disobeyed. وَيُذْكَرْ فَلَا يُنْسَى He should be remembered and not forgotten. وَأَنْ يُشْكَرَ فَلَا يُكْفَرَ And He should be appreciated. He should be appreciated and we should not show him any form of kufr. Kufr means not just disbelief, but kufr means ingratitude. This is taqwa. Talq ibn Habib rahimahullah, he says, At-taqwa an ta'mala bi ta'atillahi, it is that you obey Allah, that you, you do the obedience of Allah. Ala nurin min Allah, that is from a light from Allah, it happens upon a nur from Allah. Allah puts nur in your heart and you obey him. Tarju thawab Allah, and you are seeking the rewards of Allah. You are seeking the rewards of Allah. Wa an tatruka ma'asiyat Allah, and then that you abandon the disobedience of Allah, ala nurin min Allah, that is based on comes from a light from Allah. Takhafa aqab Allah, while you are fearing the punishments of Allah. These are the ways some of the Imams of the Salaf defined taqwa. They define taqwa. So taqwa is not just, we, we usually just say, we say taqwa means to fear Allah. <coughs> taqwa means to be conscious of Allah, which is correct. But the imams understood, it's not just fearing Allah, it means fulfilling the obedience of Allah. Fearing Allah Azza wa Jal, hoping for His rewards, fearing His punishment, preparing for the akhirah, being contented with what you have. All of this is taqwa. Remembering Allah, not forgetting Him. Showing gratitude and not ingratitude. 
obedience and staying away from disobedience. This is taqwa. So this is the chapter that we will be going through bi idnillahi ta'ala and tomorrow we will start the ayat and taqwa and then we will get to the ahadith inshallah ta'ala after this. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.